This is Twit. Okay, so uh, when we last left the Voyager 2 space probe, it had received a series of mistaken commands from ground control, which caused it to turn two degrees away from Earth. Now, at its, at its present distance of 12.3 billion miles, two degrees might as well be 90 degrees. I mean, you know, it's missing the Earth by a long shot. So this meant that no more data could be received, nor could any corrective commands be sent to the probe. It wouldn't hear them. Now, the good news is that as long as all is going well, Voyager has a fail-safe system that was expected to perform an automatic reorientation this coming October. Actually, it's on the 15th of October. But, you know, that's still three months away, right? So NASA wrote, Voyager 2 is programmed to reset its orientation multiple times each year to keep its antenna pointed at Earth. The next reset will occur on October 15th which should enable communication to resume. The mission team expects Voyager 2 to remain on its planned trajectory, <laughs> let's hope that happens, during the quiet period. But then last week, we received an update from NASA. On August 1st, 2023, using multiple antennas, NASA's Deep Space Network was able to detect a carrier signal from Voyager 2. A carrier signal is what the spacecraft uses to send data back to Earth. The signal is too faint for data to be extracted, but the detection confirms that the spacecraft is at least still operating. The spacecraft also continues on its expected trajectory, although the mission expects the spacecraft to point its antenna at Earth in mid-October the team will attempt to command Voyager sooner while its antenna is still pointed away from Earth. To do this, a DSN, that's the, the abbreviation for Deep Space Network, a Deep Space Network antenna will be used to shout the command to Voyager to turn its antenna. This intermediary attempt may not work in which case the team will wait for the spacecraft to automatically reset its or orientation in October. Either way, once the spacecraft's antenna is realigned with Earth, communication should resume. That was on August 1st. That was when we did the podcast last week on Tuesday. Then, August 4th, three days later, NASA has reestablished full communications with Voyager 2. The agency's Deep Space Network facility in Canberra, Australia, sent the equivalent of an interstellar shout, meaning I guess they cranked the, the power up to max or maybe 11 and said, you know, point here. Anyway, more than 12.3 billion miles to Voyager 2, instructing the spacecraft to reorient itself and turn its antenna back to Earth. With a one-way speed of light delay of 18.5 hours, speed of light, 18 and a half hours, just to get out there, um, for the command to reach Voyager, it took 37 hours for the mission controllers to learn whether the command worked. At 12.29 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on August 4th, the spacecraft began returning science and telemetry, telemetry data, indicating it is operating normally and that it remains on its expected trajectory. So, yay, you can just imagine the breath holding that was going on during those 37 hours. But really, the entire project is an incredible engineering accomplishment. Uh, you know, these guys should be so proud of what they have done. And it's you just, can't, you know, no. you can't just fire up a telescope and look for it. It's beyond Pluto. I mean, it's it's not it's visible. Gone, Leo. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> I mean, we fully expected it to simply dissolve so cool. when when it left the the Earth's simulation. You know, <laughs> so cool. But 
it's just it's an really incredible. Neat. It's just the neatest you know, thing. And, and when it didn't die after its first, you know, uh, first uh, planetary uh, uh, in, in, encounter, they said, "Well, huh? Let's keep going." <laughs> I mean, what the hell? You know, this stuff um, is so over engineered. I mean, look at Perseverance. Look at I mean, it's exactly. Amazing. The rovers that just like, you know, like they got covered in dust and they wound down and then the dust blew off and it came back. Hello. Hello. What's going I'm back. On? What, what did I miss? What's up? What's up? <laughs> wow. Just very uh, feel good story. Just great. Oh, hey, that's a really nice iPhone you have there. You totally picked the right color. Hey, since you do use an iPhone and maybe use an iPad or an Apple Watch or an Apple TV, well, you should check out iOS Today. It's a show that I, Micah Sargent, and my co-host Rosemary Orchard host every Tuesday right here on the Twit Network. It covers all things iOS, tvOS, HomePod OS, Watch OS, iPad OS. It's all the OSs that Apple has on offer. And we love to give you tips and tricks about making the most of those devices, checking out great apps and services, and answering your tech questions. I hope you check it out. <laughs> 